All right, hello. How you guys doing? Uh, we back again for yet another character impression. This time we have uh, the new 2022 set of Christmas characters or holiday fan holiday characters, whichever you want to uh, call them. So I guess we're gonna start with uh, Fiorito, followed by Europa. Also, before I continue again i would like to remind everyone because everyone seems uh, there's quite a few has been mentioning this again because uh not too long ago i was uh saying stuff about uh what's that earth setter that she's good now people are saying oh uh i i, I always look back at uh, this mr streamer talking shit about her on her release like you do know that i do not have the character right on release I just, I just want to remind you guys that this is not a review. This is just first impression, look at her on paper, what do I think about it? Every time when I test the character, I will get different opinions about it. And plus, plus, you have to also remember the character functions and changes the, its functions very, very differently when there's new content coming in. You also have to remember the main reason why I feel like our setter was really, really strong is because Nightmare 200 became a thing. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, keep that in mind. So yes, let's continue. <laughs> so this people just keeps, <laughs> keeps shitting on me just because I talk shit of a character on my first impressions. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Fiorito is now dark. She has 1300 HP, 9700 attack. She is uh, same. Okay. Bianco Natali. Massive dark damage to a foe and cooldown for buck up. Okay. Try wish smash. Dark damage to a foe, random buff to effect to caster. Boost to damage specs and additional buffs based on how many melee weapons are equipped. I guess that's good for Magna, right? <laughs> Bear bulk up. Uh, sacrifice caster's HP to attack twice, so you get double strike, and then you reset that. Interesting. Wreck the halls and cooldown for caster's other skills. Wreck the halls effect requires le bulk level five. Can't be recast. Try wish smash activates at the end of turn. Lasts for ten. Only ten turns. Hmm, and you can recast it. Personal Trainer, when a dark ally uses a skill that consumes HP or max HP, raise their bulk level by 1. Oh, they can get bulk as well? Oh, just, just like the... the <laughs> it just, it's just like that, that, that uh, dumbbell anime thing. <laughs> so everybody be lifting so they can get some bulk level too, nice. Takes effect even when Fiorito is a sub ally. Oh, that's, in that's a very interesting mechanic for uh, like being a sub ally kind of thing too, eh? Blooming Brawn. Boost to dark allies attack defense and damage cap based on their bulk level. Takes effect even when... Oh, that's actually not bad though. But then again, it only applies to when you consume HP or max HP. When... Uh... You don't really do that. As dark these days, unless you're using Zoe, I guess. <laughs> Wait, does Zoe actually do that? Does it count? Does does Summer Zoe actually count to that? Is it only on Zoe, really? Because it's for Summer Zoe is like it sets all allies to one, right? But that doesn't really count as consuming, right? So does it actually still takes effect? Training wreath. It's a bow. That's a bow? Hit to light attack restores MC's HP. Huh? Enmity and medium garrison. No follow my break. I mean we... <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do not need that. Alright, what we have? Try wish smash. Is 5 turns cooldown, 150% dark damage, which is around 190k base cap. So the skill damage and damage cap based on the number of melee weapons equipped is 
it goes up to 5 and above. Maximum is 5. So 0 is at 150, 1 is at 300. So each stack is around 150%. So it goes up all the way until 900% damage multiplier. So damage cap is 990k. Um, then 220k, 450k, 680k, 900k, and 1.1 million. Hmm, okay. And then randomly grants all this. Not all this, one of these, right? Oh, wait. So you get 5. Wait, that's, oh wait, hold on a second. This is 6, right? Oh, it says you get all. Okay, so if as long as you have 5, you get all. Okay. So, guts, you get, she gets that. Uh, dodge tank, thing, guaranteed triple, 40% echo, and jammed. So, the, the NVT thing is 40% uh, to 120%. Okay, sounds kind of normal. Sure, I guess this is good for Magna, I suppose, right? Because, you know, you're still using Fist and shit. Celeste Fist, so... Should still be fine for Magnus. Not really uh, a primal thing, but it seems okay. But then Barkov is 80% of the caster's HP to gain double strike. So you're technically not going to get any HP at all. Because if you're full autoing, you're just going to stick at 1 HP anyway, right? You're forever stuck at 1 HP. Tabina's weapon. Yeah, unless you will that, I guess that, that that's fine. But I don't see why you want to do that. Unless you're like shitting Tabina's weapon a lot, then sure. But I still don't see why not. <laughs> why you want to do that. <laughs> um... Okay, then bulk level thing. So a skill that consume HP or inflict max HP stackable will raise the bulk level. Splitting spirit, handsome gorilla. Oh, conjunction only raises Zoe's. Oh, okay, not everyone. Oh, that's unfortunate. So... I mean, this is only on that person, right? Either way. It's only on that specific Dark Ally whenever they use that, so it's kind of honestly whatever, I guess. But it's kind of cool, a cool mechanic regardless. And then Blooming Brawn is... What's the attack mod? Perpetuity? Oh, it's a normal mod. Eh? So each stack of bulk, you get 20%. 20% attack and 20% defense and 5% damage cap. So it goes all the way until 100% attack, defense, and 25% damage cap. Seems okay. <laughs> Nothing too fancy or crazy either way for a Christmas character, but it's okay. I mean, it does look like you can burst with her. But at the same time, it's like... I feel like the only burst capability she get is basically the... Uh, the... Uh, double strike and a little bit from that the damage cap stuff that she gets from the uh, the bulk level stuff I mean it looks fine but at the same time it's like I don't think Dark needs this at all I mean even Bowman seems better though for like a, a burst type character she's more like a character that you can still kind of fuck around as like a backline character or a full auto character then uh, this one yeah, then this one is like only on that said character whenever they have the bulk. It's not like you have, you can apply everyone, right? You can apply the bulk level to everyone. It's only for the said ally, right? Or to herself. So it doesn't really, you know, help out too much to get this to the entire party shit. So yeah, it's, she's okay. But you probably want to go for uh, Bowman in a way. I feel like Bowman's capability for burst is much better. I would rather use her for like full auto shit, to be honest. Yeah. I just find it better to just run her in full auto. 
just because that you can actually you make use of this and then in other words you're able to cast this every single turn so in other words if she if the boss doesn't do like massive massive multi hit she should not die for 10 turns straight right because isn't that like just guts only anyway yeah that's just guts it's not like undying right <laughs> if it's like undying then she, yeah she just straight up doesn't die for 10 turns isn't it no but i guess to be fair she can technically survive like multi hits because she has the she has this thing the counter dodge thing dodge then counter whatever you call it so it's okay because you can technically have that for 10 turns straight because you know it activates at the end of turn, right? So you have it every single uh, turn for up to 10 turns. And because all of them only last for one turn anyway, right? So that's that's kind of nice, right? But uh, yeah, you need to get to bog 5 first before you can use this. So that's why I, I just kind of find it a lot better just run this as a full auto character kind of thing. There is some potential in that at least. Time. F Let me see here. EMP real quick, and then uh, prepare for a flashbang. Okay, so she has four crits, four crits, and three HPs, and two defense. Hmm. Four crits, man. Four crits, two defense, and three HP. Yeah, I guess HP is definitely beneficial for her because she's going to eat up her HP a lot but then again at the same time it's like does it does it really matter because especially if you're using like a standard non kango full auto right you are still going to Ogi relatively often you're going to reset that because it takes up 80% of her HP she just technically will have like one HP right because if you keep using her S2, she's just going to be at 1 HP no matter what. Yeah, I don't think HP really matters because she's just stuck at 1 HP. I just find it that she's just really nice to have if you're a Magna, Magna player. I feel like this benefits Magna the most. Just because the, the, uh, the accessibility of her skill set with what uh, Mag Dark Magna actually has at the moment is technically kind of perfect for her. So it's just... I just find it just fits really really well for Magna Grids, you know? So technically HP is not needed. So I guess you can just go with crit I guess. Because <laughs> it's not like you really have uh, crit stuff going in your grid anyway for, for if you're say for example if you're playing Magna. So yeah I guess it's okay, just, just level all the crit. <laughs> Because these days, a lot of times, whenever there's like characters with like 4 crits these days, I don't really like to level them all anymore. Because I feel like most of the time, whenever I see 4 crits, some of the like mo some of the characters with the, the 4 crits have like some other miscellaneous shit that can actually still be okay. You know, like some extra defense, HP you know, maybe Ogi damage or like some skill cap or whatever. You know, all those kind of shit, right? It feels like you don't really have to go all in on crit, but because her EMP is kind of shit anyway, so you might as well just max out the crit. I guess that's that's fine. The rest is put in whatever. I wouldn't really suggest HP, but then again, it might be different. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I guess that's that's that's... That's all I can say about her EMP right now, because it looks pretty shit. <laughs> Alright. So, bottom line is that uh, she's she's eyed. She's very eyed, but because she's a seasonal uh, holiday character, whatever kind of thing, I think you can kind of ignore her, unless you just want her for the sake of the outfit. I mean, she looks kind of okay, I guess, if you like Fiorito or... Jita look alike, Tan Tant Jita, whatever. Simple character, very straightforward character, but I do like the mechanic of the backline though. Because maybe she has, who knows, she might have uh, some sort of use in future where characters actually does the, uh, the that, that so-called thing, which is also, if you think about it, is also somewhat, she has like somewhat like a similar, uh, 
type of mechanic as uh, Halloween Mugen, right? Because Halloween Mugen has that that consume HP thing, you get extra shit, right? While hers is just basically as long as you consume HP or your max HP or whatever, or just basically fucks your HP, right? You have like any character that screws around with your HP, she kind of gives you that buff, right? So it's uh, it's not too bad, right? I feel like maybe moving forward, you can kind of have that. Just put her in a back line to get that extra tiny uh, damage cap or whatnot, right? So it seems, seems okay, I guess. I don't know. Who knows, right? Who knows what, what we have in future, right? In before people is like, oh, he's talking shit about her again. Oh, we're gonna see that shit. He's gonna, he's gonna say that she's a good character in the future. Who knows? <laughs> I, I'm not here in... Two, it's not like... It's not like it's already 2026 or some shit. I'll never fucking know, okay? <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, or on stream. Whatever. Okay, bye. Lamao. Okay, hello.